You're watching Extras from the Extension on Eagle Community Television. This show is brought to you by Carico Implement. Hi, I'm Holly Dickman with Yales County Extension Office. And today I'm going to talk a little bit about fall garden cleanup. This is the time of year when your garden probably is starting to fade. If it hasn't already, things are starting to uh, deteriorate a little bit. And this is a really important time to make sure that you do some fall cleanup prior to winter and prior to next spring to avoid some problems in the future. Now if you've had pumpkins or squash, sometimes a common pest problem is squash bugs. I know I certainly had an issue with those this year and I know here at the Ag Research Center they had a big problem with squash bugs. You want to make sure not to leave debris like this, you know, the old plants, old pumpkins, old squash, just laying in the garden all winter long simply because that's a nice environment, a nice hiding spot for those squash bugs to survive the winter and be there ready to pounce again next spring when you get your plants up and growing. So you want to make sure and remove as much of this debris as you can. Either you can physically pull it and take it out of the garden, remove it physically, or if you have a lot of debris and you want to go ahead and maybe mow it down so it's smaller and then go ahead and incorporate it either by spading or rototilling it in, that would be an excellent idea. And that would also help increase your organic matter in your garden soil, which as we um, have discussed in the past is an excellent thing for our soils. Now if you go ahead and, and till these things under, like I said, organic matter, great thing to incorporate into the garden this fall, that also will help decrease the um, environment or decrease the habitat for those squash bugs and make it harder for them to go ahead and survive the winter. Now if you have other materials in the garden, straw, ground covers, um, weeds, certainly weeds have taken over this year with lots of rain. Those are all things that can be good organic matter to incorporate into the soil. So you want to go ahead and till those under or work new organic matter into the soil this fall. Fall is a great time to do that because typically the soil is drier. Now we've had some moisture, so it's a little bit wet right now, but typically our soils are drier in the fall and that organic matter is really available this time of year. There are lots of leaves, there's lots of um, decaying straw, things like that available to the home gardener to incorporate into the garden. The other thing about incorporating things this fall is that even if it's a little bit fresh, maybe you have some compost that hasn't sat quite long enough or if you need to add manure, um, adding it in the fall is a good thing because you're not planting directly afterwards and so it will have that time to sit during the winter and kind of mellow out the soil during that time. If you have questions about fall garden cleanup or just organic matter and soils in general, contact your local Extension office for more information. You're watching Extras from the Extension on Eagle Community Television. This show is brought to you by Carico Implement. Fall is here and it's a great time to come out and visit Carrico Implement and Hayes for all of your fall lawn care needs. We stock and sell a full line of John Deere riding lawn equipment along with Honda Walk Pine mowers and generators. We also offer a full lineup of steel outdoor power products. If your project requires even more muscle, come check out the lineup of John Deere compacts, tractors, and skid loaders. And don't forget, we have the parts and services to keep you up and running for whatever your fall lawn care needs are. So come visit Carrico Implement for a solution that fits.